Hey, how's it going YouTube? I got another Bible review video. This one is of the King James Version. And it is put out by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, aka the Mormons. And my cat is in the background, so you might hear him. And this this Bible I got it relatively inexpensive. Um, this Bible is in very good condition considering the fact that this Bible is actually printed in December of 1997. Now look at the gilded, the gilding. I mean, it's like, it was barely even used. It's almost like, you know... And I think the reason why it was barely even used was because, you know, Mormons have three other scriptures. The Book of Mormon, Pearl of Great Price, Doctrine and Covenants. And so it seems like they printed this Bible in uh, nine, December, 19, December 1997 and they just, they just kept it. They didn't read it. You know, that's why they're stuck in there in, in the false doctrine. So here you got copyright 1979 by Corporation of the President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Salt Lake City, Utah, USA, all rights reserved, published simultaneously in Great Britain and the United States of America, printed in the United States of America, December 1997, which... I mean, this is a very good condition. Look at this. The, I mean, it, the gilding is is barely even, and there's no markings on this Bible, by the way. Like, maybe I missed a few, but like, many Bibles from like the 90s and early 2000s, they have some markings, but look at this. There's no markings. It's like, you know, who, who, the Mormon who purchased this, they just bought it and they just didn't even read it, you know? Look, there, there's no markings at all. <laughs> um, and, and I'm not making fun of Mormons. I, you know, hopefully, I, I think they're stuck in a, you know, in a works-based religion. And I think we're saved by faith alone. Grace alone, in Christ alone, Scripture alone, uh, glory to the glory of God alone. Am I missing something? The, the five souls of the Reformation, Bible alone, Christ alone, faith alone, grace alone, to the glory of God alone. I'm not even going to try to uh, pronounce the Latin form of it, but those are the five Solas of the Reformation. I'm trying to get my cat out here. So the leather is not very flexible. It's like bonded, but I mean, you'd probably find something like this on the on Deseret Book for like forty dollars. But I got this really inexpensive, and this is from 1997. And it's like it's it's like someone just it's it's like some Mormon just purchased this. And they just left it sitting and because there's no writing, there's no highlighting or anything. And it's like, huh, that's pretty interesting. So here's the epistle, ded uh, the, the epistle dedicatory to the most high and mighty James by the grace of God, King of Great Britain, France and Ireland, defender of the faith. Translator, the translators of the Bible wish grace, mercy, and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. And, I, you know, the epistle that are, I don't really care for the epistle, I don't really care for the epistle dedicatory uh, of the KJV. I'd rather have the preface to the KJV, which I do have a copy of. Um, and here's the table of contents, the name and order of all the books of the Old and New Testament. And here it is. And then the appendix 
has, you know, a bunch of Mormon stuff. It's the Topical Guide, Bible Dictionary, Joseph Smith Translation. Uh, it's only a, <clears throat> it's only a uh, abridged version. It's not the full Joseph Smith translation. I don't know if there is a full Joseph Smith translation of the entire Bible. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. I'm not really, um, I'm not really too deep into Mormonism, but um, so and I'll show you how large the appendix is because the appendix is pretty thick for. But anyway, so. <clears throat> Like I said, I mean, there's no highlighting, there's no writing. I mean, I've seen Bibles from like 2005 that are, you know, in, in like thrift stores and, you know, that have been well used, well worn, well highlighted. But <laughs> this is so neat. I mean, I'm trying, I'm just flipping through the pages and it's like, nope, they're all clean. Look at it. It's like. Anyway, so as you can see, and with most, and with all uh, KJV that is put out by the Mormon Church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you have the, this is the um, footnotes um, to their other scriptures, um, um, to, and these are all references, DNC is Doctrine and Covenants, and then, um, the, and then that's their, that's Doctrine and Covenants, Pearl of Great Price, and Book of Mormon. Those are the other three scriptures, along with the K along with the KJV that make up the Mormon scriptures, um, or I should say, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, because there are, there is um, there is the Community of Christ, which I I don't think I don't think they. I think the community of Christ is now like a liberal Protestant denomination, but anyways, and also um, with every KJV that is put out by the Mormon Church, they have this um, uh, at the beginning of every chapter. They have um, their little uh, kind of summary, subject summary. I don't know. So like chapter nine, nineteen of. St. John, St. John's Gospel, Jesus is scourged and crucified. He places his mother in John's care. He dies. His side is pierced with a spear. He is buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. So every chapter, um, you'll find you'll find in a cage in a, in a Mormon Bible they have. They put their own little kind of summary, and obviously they kind of sprinkle in their little doctrines in there. So, like chapter fourteen of the of Acts, here um, here's their little summary: persecution attends spread of gospel. Paul heals a cripple. He and Barnabas hailed as gods. Paul stoned, revived, preaches, elders ordained. So. You know you got to be careful when you're when you're reading a Bible from uh, the Mormons because they they add this little uh, this little summary at the beginning of each chapter. Some of them are orthodox, but of course, obviously, the reason why they put those in is to kind of add their own little doctrines, sprinkle their doctrines in there, and of course, and and I just completely ignore the this whole portion. Because it's just references to their other scriptures. Doctrine and Covenants, that's DNC, Pearl of Great Price, and the Book of Mormon. Um, so here's the maps. Here's how they look like. Um, <clears throat> so there's about 22 maps. And I'll go ahead and show you just a little bit of... A little bit of them. And I think you could buy, like, uh, you can go on Deseret Book, and that was my cat. And you could buy um, uh, their scriptures and um, the KJV from the Deseret Book. But again, I would, I would very much caution you in terms of the chapter, uh, little chapter summary, because obviously they... Um, 
put their doctrine, put their Mormon, sprinkle Mormon doctrines in, in there. Um, but the maps, I mean, they, the maps look good. I'm just glad they didn't include a map of America because, you know, Mormons believe that Jesus visited America. Here's the Gazetteer. And then here's uh, the Joseph Smith translation. Let's go ahead and read. Let's go ahead and read Mark 7, 10 through 12 of the Joseph Smith translation. Full well it is written of you by the prophets whom ye have rejected. They testify these things of a truth, and their blood shall be upon you. Ye have kept not the ordinances of God. For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and whoso curseth father or mother, let him die the death of the transgressor, as it is written in your law, but ye keep not the law. Um, so yeah, it's just, this is not the full Joseph Smith, it's just the Joseph Smith translation, excerpts too lengthy for inclusion in footnotes. <clears throat> Let's go ahead, I just want to show you how thick the appendix is, and then here, here cat, okay, Bible dictionary, obviously it's got, it's going to be biased towards the Mormon, and then Bible dictionary. <clears throat> so let me just show you real quick before this video is getting way too long. <laughs> As you can see, I'm like going over praises. I'm still not done with the appendix. Okay, anyways, let's go. Okay, so here's the, so here's Revelation. And this is how thick the appendix is. And basically the appendix is just Mormon, Mormon doctrine. So, the Appendix, Topical Guide, Bible Dictionary, Joseph Smith, Translation, Gazetteer, and Maps. Except the maps. The maps aren't, you know, I, I, I would assume the maps are orthodox. I don't, you know, I, I didn't see any map of the Americas or of Utah. So, he, this is how thick the Appendix is compared to, uh, let me just go try to grab the whole Bible and then we can end the video. So just compare the Bible, it's almost like half of it. So the first, so this, so this is the KJV, and then this is the appendix filled with Mormon doctrine. I mean, it's just incredible. But anyways, <clears throat> this is a really perfectly good condition Bible for that was printed in December 1997, and it has two two bookmarks that matches the leather um so yeah just wanted to review this and i think you can uh, like i said if you want to and uh the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints and i'm i'm amazed that like mormons are so sensitive that they literally changed like they made it official that you have to call like you can't call them mormons you have to call them members of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints and it's like oh my goodness that's a mouthful it's like could you imagine debating like a mormon and and um and you just got to keep her you can't call them mormons because that's politically incorrect you know they get offended by that so you gotta call them members of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints but anyways um that's the kjv they put out um Really good Bible, like I said. Anyways, um, hope you guys stay safe. And, um, you know, always read scripture every day. Read the KJV. It's nice and poetic. And, uh, anyways, I think that's about it. Um, I'll pray for all your safety and, you know, safety in these times of these trying times, these, uh, these uncertain times. I pray for all your safety, and I hope you pray for mine as well. And I'll see you guys in the next Bible review video. Thanks for watching. Bye.